a positive uh, indication that the wind farm sector is evolving, uh, looking for alternative, better ways of waste management. And I am very confident that we will um, come to know many alternative efficient uh, wind turbine plate uh, management options going forward. Uh, I hope uh, we have uh, um, provided a positive aspect in uh, this uh, in the today's um, uh, conditions and today's setting, a gloomy setting. I would like to hand over to Papa Stamatiu, Managing Director. On behalf of, uh, of the Hellenic Wind Energy Association, I would like to thank everybody uh, taking part and listening to our uh, webinar uh, nearly 300 individuals um, through the live media website and other providers let me summarize uh, what i have uh, learned over the past five years Wind turbine materials are recyclable up to 85-90 percent. Uh, the composite materials in the wind turbine blades are a major challenge. A challenge is a key word. Most of us are uh, engineers uh, and uh, it is in our scope to provide solutions to problems. The problems are actually called uh, challenges. If challenges uh, have taken us back to uh, to where we were some years uh, ago, we would not have evolved over the past years. Over fif uh, 15 years ago, and uh, prominent uh, researchers and research researches uh, concerning the energy system claimed that 25% uh, penetration uh, skyrockets the cost for end users. It would never lead to more than 15% of RE penetration uh, in the future. If this had, le had led uh, to putting uh, uh, the uh, development of renewable energy uh, to stop, we would not have been where we stand today. And these uh, researches have uh, indicated the direction of solutions. We have uh, um, we have done better. Uh, the uh, estimate uh, models and the market models have evolved. Uh, the end user is not. Uh, uh, there is no uh, major burden for the end user today. And I'm very, con I'm very proud uh, serving in this business, in this sector, because uh, in, yet in 2025, the composite materials uh, generated uh, by this uh, sector would uh, be less than 20% of uh, all composite materials generated. It is our industry that is taking a leap ahead, uh, managing uh, solutions and uh, getting prepared for solutions. Pro solutions on two are twofold. Management of existing uh, turbine plates and development of uh, novel turbines that will be uh, recyclable and more efficient. Um, a third point I would like to stress is uh, the um, example of uh, PPC renewables. I also remember the concerns uh, and uh, the struggle of Greenpeace, as said. I uh, recall the images of wind uh, turbines, and I'd like to um, contrast this to the image of the sector over the last three, four, five years. Uh, the industry has uh, managed to replace uh, uh, the, f the wind turbine fleet on the islands uh, in a way that is a role model for the f uh, going forward. And uh, the argument that wind farms uh, are actually harassment to the landscape are fake news. PPC renewables during the last uh, two um, administrations, Angelos Kasimis has been uh, part of the administration and Elias Monachoyas as well. They have uh, taken a step forward which showcases the development and involvement of uh, PPC. Also, uh, when it comes to underground uh, infrastructure. 
Uh, as a last remark, allow me to say that it is a difficult day. It is an attack for democracy and freedom. And this attack is also linked to our economy's dependency from fossil fuels. Fossil fuel dependency, faster decarbonization, are key issues for the climate change, are key for uh, the um, for end users and are a key for um, democracy, freedom, and security in our continent. I would like, with these words, to thank you for joining our discussion. And I hopefully, uh, next time, we're all luckier and uh, the next uh, event takes place under better conditions. Thank you very much. Goodbye.